These four geezers ain't never met each other before. But if they do the right thing today, they could be walking away with a big wad of butts. However, stopping them from doing that one small thing is the chaser. The chase is on. Right, here we go then. And my team capable of beating one of Britain's biggest park lanes? Brains? <laughs> Let's find out by meeting them. Hello, my name's Charlie. I'm 58. I ain't proud of what I do for a living. My name's Dave. I'm 52. And I'm a used car uh, a garage mechanic from Dagenham. Hello, I'm Toby. I'm 26, under 90 specialist from Romford. I'm Ken. I'm retired. And I'm from Stratford. Cool, oh, blimey, that's my Fantastic Four. And the whole point of this is for them to try and bring some money down the old Clark Gable table <laughs> and into the team prize fund. But as always, things ain't quite that simple because hunting them all the way will be the chaser. Anyone stupid enough to get caught will lose the money and is out of the whole Georgie fame game. <laughs> but if they do make it back, they'll go through to the final chase to win an equal share of that total prize fund. So what are we standing here for? Come on, Charlie, you're up first. Charlie, welcome to the show. You say you're not at liberty to talk about your job. Yeah, I don't think the ladies and gentlemen, or you for that matter, would care much for what I do. Know what I mean? I respect your privacy on that score then, Chezza, but away from the old Bunsen, are you a family man? Yes. Yes, I am. Right, and if you was to win some money today, what would you do with it? Well, again, I don't think that's something I wish to put on public record like this, to be honest. Oh, blimey, Charlie, you're a cool customer and no mistake, missus. <laughs> Look, can we just get on with this, please? <laughs> yeah, let's rock and roll while I've still got kneecaps, shall we, eh? Uh, I, I'm not threatening you. I'd like... Oh, I never said you were, Can mate. I make that clear? Now, look, Charlie, this is the quick fire round. 60 yep. seconds of questions against the clock. Yep. Each one answered correctly, worth a grand. Yep. You all set? Yeah, I'm ready. Right, your time starts now. In the nursery rhyme, which farmyard animal had little Bo Peep lost? Uh, uh, monkey. Sheep. What natural disaster of 1666 devastated London? Uh, the Great Fire of London. Correct. Author Edgar Rice Burroughs wrote a series of stories about which jungle hero? Uh, jungle Jim. Tarzan. According to the proverb, a stitch in time saves how many? Uh, nine. Correct. West Ham United play their home games at which stadium? Uh, London Stadium. Correct. Who was the presenter of the long-running TV show That's Life? Uh, uh, Esther, Esther, Esther Robinson. Ransom. In the song American Pie, where does Don McLean take his Chevy? Uh, to the levee. Correct. The traditional end to a fairy story sees the characters living happily ever what? Happily ever after. Correct. What's two thirds of 30? Uh, uh, a quarter? 20. In the TV series, Grave of Thrones with... <laughs> Oh, no time to get there for you, Charlie. Is that Game of Thrones? Yeah, but five grand, though. Nice little earner. Yeah, I'll settle for that. But who will you be up against today? Shall we find out? Suppose so. Will it be the beast, Mark Lebet? He swallowed the dictionary, followed by the entire library. <laughs> or could it be the dark destroyer, Sean Wallace? He insists on silence in court in case he's put off his reading. <laughs> Maybe it's old Frosty Dickens herself, Anne Hegarty. The only person to ever crack the font of all knowledge. <laughs> or will it be the Cinnaman? He's fat, he's gay, he's Asian, as he'll happily tell you himself. A lot. <laughs> so, there you go, Charlie, me old fruit. Who do you be up against? Well, I hope he's not the Asian fruit. Oh, mate, uh, well, should we find out? Can't stand him. Right, it's time to bring on the chaser! Oh, Jesus wept. Oh, Charlie, it's the one you didn't want. It's that Arch Queen, Paul Sinner, the Sinner Man. Oh, I believe it. Hello, Charlie. <laughs> right, mate. Not a fan, then. <laughs> no, I think it's fair to say I'm not your biggest fan. Look, mate, look, look, don't mug yourself off just because you don't agree with what he does. You could be on to a nice little earner here, mate. Not if I have anything to do with it. <laughs> oh, for God's sake. Look, 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 let's get some money on the table, shall we? Right, if you want to take a step closer to home, the chaser will offer you 
I think this is very generous. £200. 200 nicker, not great, but if you want to take a step closer to the chaser, the chaser will offer you. Oh, come up and play, Charlie. £20,000. Yeah, it's more like it. Yes, yeah, more my scene, that is. 20,000 big ones. Charlie, do you want to have a quick word for your team? Do you know what? No. Let's get this going. 20 grand. Give me the 20 grand. Are you sure? Yeah, let's do this thing. Oh, give him the clap from me. <laughs> yeah, let's give Charlie a round of applause. The man who knows his own mind. Let's take the other sums away. 20 grand it is. And for Charlie, the chase is on. <laughs> Right, Charlie, here we go. Here comes your first question. Right, in Great Britain, at the end of what month do the clocks go back an hour? Is it A, March, B, July, or C, October? <laughs> right, Charlie, you seem quite confident with that. Yeah, I think I know this one. What right, you've put... C, October. Yeah, they spring forward, don't they? Yeah, yeah, and uh, uh, fall back in the in the autumn. Let's find out. The right answer is... Yeah, see, step closer to home. Think the chaser's got it? Yeah, of course you will. Wait for it. <laughs> yeah, chaser also goes with C October. Right, next question. TV presenter Giles Brandreth is a former MP for which constituency? Is it A, Salford, B, Chester, C, Gateshead? Straight in there, Charlie. Yeah, pretty much total guess, though. Oh, mate, really?